Obamacare, the good, bad, and the ugly, 10 years on. Hello, this is Chart GPT Today. You know, we've had the Obamacare, ACA, they call it, and we've been looking at the, uh, the, the readout on it. It's been highly political. Let's take a look at some data to see the good and the bad and the ugly. Nothing's ever perfect one way or the other. First of all, let's take a look at the good. I suppose the good part of it is that the national uninsured rate is at a pretty close to an all-time low. So one thing it has done is it's got more people on insurance. So that's probably the good part of it. There's a few other things as well. You can take a look at the AI, and I've asked the same question. What is the good, bad, and the ugly for Obamacare? You can check out the AI on the description link and the post link there and follow that, and you can just check out what the AI said. Anyway, let's look at some of the bad. Of course, the bad is is the premiums have gone up. Of course, the black line here is the actual, but people have been reducing the uh, the coverage in order to get the payments down because the, the payments going into Obamacare and the premiums are not good. So that's kind of the bad. Kind of looking at uh, some more data here, you can see that the, the boost in insurance premiums is way above the trend line. Uh, and this is before even the the uh, inflationary effects of over the COVID period. This starts back in 2014. You can see what the uh, the trend line was before and what the trend line is now. And so you can see the health insurance cost is rise. Some of that is due to the rising cost of health care, which is probably uh, a bit of that. But most of it has gone into premiums. So I guess the benefactor there has been the health insurance companies because now they have a, a captured a government clientele. Here's kind of a map of who opted in and who opted out in terms of the Medicaid parts of the AS, uh, ACA or Obamacare. You see these states down in the southwest have basically have come out of that and they have not elected to be part of that. So we'll see if that's a good thing or a bad thing going forward. So that's kind of the, uh, the bad in terms of the cost structure. Of course, here's the ugly. The ugly here is, you can't see this because this chart's kind of stretched out a bit here. But you can see that in 1970, the government health insurance was a little, maybe 25%, and now it's uh, over 40. So over the last 20, 30 years, government is now getting into the insurance business. Of course, this was the danger of a lot of people thinking, once you start these programs, they're hard to retract. And of course, the out years is going to be even more. So pretty much over the period of time, and this was the whole purpose of Obamacare, is to wean people onto government health care, whether that's a good thing or a bad thing. Uh, in terms of cost structure, that's obviously not, not good going forward. Uh, here you can see that the Medicare, Medicaid is a growing part of it. And of course, all of these are government programs, so and out of pocket has been growing a little bit. So basically, over time, you're going to see the more and more people get onto government programs. Of course, the polling on this, the most people have thought that the healthcare insurance company has been reasonably okay over the, over the years. So there hasn't been a drop necessarily in quality. Of course, this is the thing is we're weeding people onto uh, is health care a right or is it a benefit? And of course, more and more people are thinking that the government has responsibility in this. So it's a, it's a gradual socialization of this. Get your, you take our online poll. Do you think Obamacare has uh, been good for America or not? Don't forget to subscribe.